salvation that's not complete needs to be put away because we're living in serious times. A lot of people are taking parts of the Bible and claiming this is what you have to do to be saved, or that's what you have to do to be saved. People sincerely, from the heart, accept that thinking that people know what they're talking about, or else they wouldn't be preaching or teaching or, or ministering. And many go for years thinking they're saved, but they can't live right. They have a problem living for God, and they don't seem to have power to say no to the devil. And what is happening is what many people think is the salvation plan. It turns out that it's a plan that you can enjoy and, and use for uh, keeping yourself saved if you ever get saved. But God's salvation plan is not the way that most religions teach. His salvation plans includes turning your back on sin, repenting and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and then in order to keep sin on the run and you with the power over sin, he wants us to have the Holy Ghost and the Word teaches us without the Spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Ghost, we are not His. If we're not His, we're not saved. And so we can claim I'm saved because I said words with my mouth and I believed in my heart. But if there's no change, it's what I call patty cake religion. It's time to stop playing games. Let's get the real thing. Let's get the real thing. That's right. We, we want the real thing. Because I can say I believe all day long. Even the devils believe in one God and tremble. That doesn't save devils and it won't save you. You've got to go beyond believing. And because you believe, let God's word sink deep in your heart. And obey the Lord. Obey the Lord when he instructs us and tells us what to do. You know, my dad used to tell me, don't you cross that road when I was a little boy. Don't you cross that road unless you're holding my hand. You know, and I could have said, well, I'll be okay. I know I go that way, and I can run, and I can cross the road. I don't have to hold your hand. But the instruction that came was, don't you cross that road unless you hold my hand. And even when I tried to cross the road, he would run and grab me and make me hold his hand because he had a plan of salvation for me. <laughs> Praise God, it's more than believing I can cross the road. It's more than believing I can make it to the other side. There has to be something there to keep me safe, something there to keep me from being destroyed. Amen. It's so much greater. Our Heavenly Father does not want us to try to make it to heaven without holding His hand. Because there's a lot of deep pits we're going to have to cross. There are a lot of deep valleys we're going to have to try to get through. There are a lot of roadblocks that are going to try to stop us. There are a lot of messes that are going to try to get into our lives. A lot of confusion going to try to take over. A lot of false doctrines and false teaching. Crazy things going to happen. We're going to find ourselves not knowing how we got there sometime. But there is a hand that reaches down farther than we can reach up. And no matter how low we are, we just need to look up and say, Lord, I don't want to play games to this thing. I want whatever's real. I want what you got for me. And you let him take you by the hand, and it won't be any problem. Amanda, for you, for Cedric, for all of us. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we baptized 10 people Sunday. I won't be surprised at all if we baptized 10 people Sunday in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, the ones that have passed through here in the past few weeks, it's not over for them. They just got caught up with one another, but that's just for now. You wait to see what God does with them after they see they can't really do that much for each other. Amen. The, the, the time for patty cake religion for that bunch is just about over with. It's just about over with. We love them all, but there comes a time when you have to get out of the rut and get off the merry-go-round and say, look, if you want to play games and play with each other and have a mess all the time, that's you. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to go to church. We're going to be faithful to the house of God. We're going to look to Jesus to answer our questions and supply our needs. We're going to look to Jesus to help us when we're hurting and to lift us up when we're down and give us hope when we feel so hopeless. So let's all stand together. Let's all praise the Lord. It's time for patty cake religion to end and let the true God of true salvation take over in your life. Praise Him, everybody.
Praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, I'm not saying that everybody's wrong who thinks they're saved or who sincerely believes they're doing the right thing when they've accepted Christ into their life and said, I believe in my heart and I confess them. I'm not saying they're wrong. That is in the Bible, and it teaches that. It's taught for the church people who already repented, who already got their life straightened out and received the Holy Ghost, telling them what to do if they mess their life up. You do have a plan of salvation that requires us to really believe on the one who did shed his blood for us. Jesus really did die for our sins. That's for church people that's already gotten saved but got their life in a mess because church people make mistakes too. Even preachers make mistakes sometimes. Everybody is human. We have problems. That's why we need to quit playing patty cake religion. Hallelujah. We need the real thing so we can say no to sin and yes to God. And I don't know how anybody can do that without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Everybody say the Holy Ghost. If you've ever experienced the Holy Ghost, you know what it's like to receive the Holy Ghost. If you've had the Holy Ghost, you've drifted away from God. God is still there for you. He still loves you. And his spirit is ready to speak right through your lips and give praise unto God Almighty in words you may not even know you're speaking, but it's the Holy Ghost that wants to take over. And you let that strength and power be in your life, in your life, and you won't be, you won't be having such a struggle with living for God. Oh, it'll be hard, but you won't have it as hard as it was because he has the power. He has the power. Satan sometimes tries to make you think that's God talking to you when he tells you go this way, go that way, because he knows a lot of tricks. Now check out the Word of God and see what God says. If you don't know the Word of God that well, get a Bible and read it and see what God says. And if you've got this idea coming from the Lord, you think, and it's contrary to the Bible, the Word of the Lord, tell the devil he's a liar. Time for patty cake religion to be over with. Let's get the real thing. Amen. Anybody in this building who wants the baptism or the gift, in other words, of the Holy Ghost, and you want the real thing, come and stand right here tonight, and we're all going to gather around. We're going to pray that God would just pour out the Holy Spirit on anybody that's standing in this line. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost is for you. The Holy Ghost is for you. Amen. Come on, everybody. Well, let's join in, and let's just pray. And don't be afraid. We're going to turn off the cameras in a moment. You don't have to worry about that. And you out there, as we leave you from this service, you expect God to give you the Holy Ghost and give us a report. And you can just go and uh, email us at renrutledge at gmail.com. Tell us God filled you with the Holy Ghost. We're more excited about that than you sending money and the offerings. We want to know somebody got the Holy Ghost in that. So God bless you as we leave you on the Internet. Let's turn the lights down now and let's just seek God. Let God fill somebody with the Holy Ghost tonight. A good thing for all you church folks, all the people serving God, let God refresh you with the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Get in front of these folks. Get around these folks. Let's all gather around. Let's just call on God. Let's call on God and let's believe the Lord tonight.